Let's go to Vienna and join our chief reporter, Carve Solokol, who joins me now. Nice to see you, Carve. Just tell us what is happening there right now. Well, look, uh, Mike, this is a very bizarre situation because uh, just to my right, uh, the Iran national team, who are the highest ranked team in Asia, uh, playing Senegal, who are the champions of Africa. But as you can see, I am basically in an empty stadium. Uh, there are a few people inside uh, this ground, including the England manager Gareth Southgate, a few football agents, a few football scouts, but no supporters, despite the fact that many Iranians uh, live in Austria, also many uh, Senegalese people live in Austria. They are not allowed inside this game. Why is that? Because the rights to this game are held by the Iranian Football Federation. And they've decided they don't want any supporters inside this ground. This game is being shown live in Iran. They don't want anybody in Iran to see the demonstrations or protesters inside the stadium. Now, that hasn't stopped uh, some Iranians from coming to this ground and protesting outside the ground. What they're trying to do is chant. I think you can hear some of the noises behind me as well. Chant as much as they can, as loudly as they can, so their voices are heard on the live broadcast of this game that is being shown in Iran. Uh, I've actually been speaking to a couple of people in Iran who've told me that the, uh, the uh, TV stations in Iran uh, have cut the audio so that you cannot hear these chants from the protesters who are outside the stadium. Now, before the game started, we were outside the ground. We were speaking to those protesters and a few of them explained to me what they thought of the decision by the Iranian Football Federation, also backed by uh, the Austrian yes, authorities, yes, not to let them inside this ground. We all have the, the duty to show presence and, sh and share our passion for our women in Iran. Also to make a statement that such things should stop finally after 44 years. We are uh, against the dictatorship that is going on in Iran right now and we want all people in the world to know that we are peaceful people and we want to um, demonstrate this for them. So, Carve, those protesters couldn't get inside the stadium. You mentioned that Gareth Southgate is inside. Any problems for the England manager to get in? It was quite a surreal situation, actually, because uh, Gareth Southgate had to kind of swerve those protesters when he arrived at the stadium, and he had a little bit of trouble getting into the ground. I think uh, one of the stewards who was uh, checking his tickets didn't quite realise that he was dealing with the England manager. Uh, but the good news, as far as Gareth Southgate and his assistant Steve Holland are concerned, is that they did get inside the ground. They are watching... Uh, this game. Uh, the game at the moment is 1-1. Uh, Sardar Azmoun, the Iranian striker, uh, equalised. Very, very strong Senegal side as well. Uh, players like Idrissa Gay, Sadio Mane, Khalidou Koulibaly uh, playing for them. But of course, Gareth Southgate is here to watch Iran, England's first opponents uh, at the World Cup in about two months' time. Interestingly, of course, Iran have never played England before. I know there's lots of issues between uh, the UK government and the Iranian government, but I want to make it clear there are no issues between the Iranian people and the English government, the UK government or anybody in England. People in Iran absolutely love English football. More people watch uh, Premier League in Iran uh, than they watch their own football. So I know in the next couple of weeks and months, we're going to be reading a lot about uh, the disputes between the two countries, the problems between the two countries. But as far as the people of Iran are concerned, they have absolutely no issue with England, the United Kingdom or the United States, another one of the teams who are in their group at the World Cup.